Kayla and I are teaching We're obedience together. We're supposed to be together. being serious right now. What are you doing? I am serious right now. Do I look like Madonna? No. No, you don't. Thanks. You're much prettier. <laughs> So he doesn't have to look for any lengthy time today. It's just look and then reward. So I'm usually close to you at this point. And if they're just staring at you for your dog, so that they have something that they're used to and that you can train me. That was fun, and as is to be expected, Kale did pick on me a little bit. I was always the demo dog, but it was uh, it was fun teaching with Kale again uh, in obedience. We haven't taught together in the grade one hall in I Hans. I don't know how long. It's been many years though, and it was uh, it was fun. A nice uh, nice to get back to it. So while Kale is away training agility, I uh, have uh, our neighbors or you know, good friends of ours, Corey and Jen. You've seen uh, Bruin, you've met Bruin in uh, one of our previous vlogs, but we've got Bruin uh, for a couple of days and uh, looking forward to training with him a little bit. We're going to do mm, just some pretty normal grade one stuff. He's missing his first grade one class tonight because uh, I had so much going on and I thought about taking him, but um, I think training at home today will be good for him. And then when Corey and Jen get back, they can go right back into grade one training. So uh, we'll get into a little uh, training session. Are you ready? Are you set? Two, Arf! come! That was a lot of fun. Puppy training is always fun, especially at this age. It's just about being consistent with your cues and you know, making sure that uh, you follow up and reward lots when the dog makes a great choice. So I think uh, Ruin had a good play session in a work session. I think it's time for him to have a little rest. Good job, buddy. One of the distinct disadvantages of living in rural Canada is that nobody delivers food to where we are. Does it look like a pizza? Can we get pizza delivered? Uh, yeah, it's, there, there was a rumor that you could get pizza delivered to us, but, I, and I we mean, I have to it. believe it, we've never done it though. So what we have to do is drive to where we can get food. So it, it, one of our favorite foods, most certainly, is Pad Thai, and we, Search far and wide for great pad thai, and we found a place that actually del that we can get. You know, t phone in and then go pick it up. So that's what we're going to do right now. The Thai house is delicious. It's a really nice day, and I think we might actually eat here. It's like they have like a cool, tiny little patio thing. Might be a good spot to have some Thai. How was your Thai? It's delicious. I'm pretty full though. It's a lot. It's one of those foods that it's deceiving and you eat so much of it and then you're like really full after and then it just continues to get worse. Yeah. yeah I think it's like one of those foods. I got two meals on mine. There's a chicken on the road. What? Yeah. Oh. I missed it. Quite often we'll arrive home from somewhere and the hardest part of uh, continuing on with our day is getting Kale out of the van or out of the passenger seat. Why is it just me? Because I get out very quickly. Uh, I guess but most of the time you do. Kale spends a lot of time just sitting here contemplating life, I think. I do my best thinking in the van for some strange reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't really it's know It's so why. comfortable. It's like so quiet and and not comfy, but like, it's just peaceful. I like it. <laughs> Whatever, judge away. So Kale and the puppy are doing a little bit of work on shaping, I think, here. So it's dinner time, and I thought I would do something with her that I haven't done 
since she was probably five months old. So I originally, when she was a puppy, trained her to get all four feet up on top of this tiny little box and she could get all four feet inside the tiny little box. But she's probably twice the size now, so <laughs> I'm not really sure whether she's gonna be able to do it still, but I thought I would try it. Okay, give it a try. Try again. Oh, she's not sure about that. Good. Come on. Good try, Becca. Come on. Good girl. So much harder when they're bigger, right? Oh, she, see what she's doing? She's doing the, um, her, I taught her to put her front feet up and then swivel around. She was just offering that. Come on, try it. Up, up. Good girl. Yes. I'll help you. Yay! Yay! Good girl! Smart girly! That's really tough for a big girl who's not really that big. Oh, two feet. So Kayla's just flipped the, the bucket over to make it a little more, bit more challenging. Oh. Nice try. That was a bad click. It's hard to see, but I don't... Yes! I don't want to... Um, I want to have to hold it with my feet because I don't want it to fall and scare her. Yes, good girl. Try again. Come on, babe. Nope, leave that. Try again. Yeah! <laughs> Jackpot for freckles. Wow. Good. Yes, good. Good girl, B. Yes. So, I think that's a good so, example for anybody okay. about shaping a, shaping a behavior, whether it's a sit or whatever. I mean, if the dog rehearses something enough and is rewarded yeah. for it, look, good and girl. she'll just offer the behavior. I think yes. that's really important for people to take away. Who knew from that it. dogs putting their feet inside a box would be so rewarding? Yeah, yeah. Yes. But that's the same reason why any behavior that you can get your dog to do can be rewarding. It's all about how you present it to them, yeah. which is why you can teach them coming when they're called to be rewarding or lying calmly to be rewarding or whatever it is. This is, I recognize a stupid trick, but yeah. adorable for Pretty one. impressive. And it just teaches her to like learning and to like doing things and to use her brain for good and not for evil. Mm -hmm.